During the men's 100-meter relay semifinals in the 2000 Sydney Olympics, an athlete from Trinidad and Tobago stepped onto the track wearing sunglasses that looked like they were straight out of a sci-fi movie. It was Atho Bolden, for obvious reasons, who stole the show wearing Oakley's over-the-top sunglasses. Unlike traditional sunglasses that rest on the ears, these were designed to sit directly on top of the head. The buzz didn't just stop after the race. The over-the-top sunglasses were spotlighted in various sports media outlets, turning them into an iconic piece of Olympic fashion. In his biography, Jim Jannard, the founder of Oakley, had a dream of a sunglass that broke free from conventions. What he came up with later that morning was the over-the-top model that we saw Bolden rocking. Oakley founder Jim Jannard explained the inspiration behind the over-the-top came from being on an island and discarding everything we knew. This is what we came up with. Now that Oakley had created a groundbreaking product, they needed someone to showcase it to the world. But Jannard later recalled that no one would wear the glasses because it was too space 